the pride of Batesville, Arkansas. And for our folks. And I know this is a shocker, but the girl is taller than Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> And now what's going to happen, Mark will go over and get some pictures from our paparazzi who are here tonight with his Stewie Award. <laughs> that is awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, our first winner, Mark Mark. Well, Mark, you've won a lot of unique trophies through your career. Where will you put the prestigious Stewie? <laughs> Right up front in the trophy Atta case. Boy. I finally got one. <laughs> well, when you look back to this year, I mean, so many people are fans of yours, but nobody was a bigger fan than your crew chief, Alan Gustin. I mean, it was a combo package for both of you guys this year, just the season you had and what a special one it was. It was just uh, magical. Um, you know, that, uh, that race at, at Phoenix really went well, and we just... Uh, we had Tony right there uh, making us hold our breath, but uh, when we won that race, um, it was such a huge accomplishment. It was something that I, would, I didn't think I was ever going to get to experience again. Uh, I hoped when I took the five-car ride that I would get a chance, but I never dreamed that we would continue the role like, like we did. And we, you know, we gained so much momentum throughout the year, and, and uh, the fans really got behind it, and there was so much more momentum. and. Um, it, it was really special. It was really special to me to have the fans respond the way they did throughout the year. And, and uh, even though we did come up uh, short, we went into Homestead, the only uh, bunch in the garage that had a chance to, to, to beat Jimmy. And that was, uh, to me, that was an honor. That, that is uh, the one thing that we, we joked about earlier this season is that, you know, you retired and they were giving you a rocking chair for <laughs> retiring. And then you've come out of retirement and, and stayed full time. And, and I'm kind of glad that you didn't win the championship. And I, and I have a reason for this because I'm afraid if you win it, you're not, you're going to retire. <laughs> and we, we have too much fun having you here. And it's like I've told everybody for years, I wouldn't be where I'm at in the Sprint Cup Series if I had not learned the lessons that I had learned racing against you in the Nationwide Series. Right. You have taught so many drivers the etiquette, uh, the patience of this sport. You have been unbelievably probably the greatest role model this sport has ever had, in my opinion. Well, thank you. It's humbling to, to hear that. And I wanted to stop you and say, yes, you would, but uh, uh, I won't argue with you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.